Hey y'all, I'm Laura and welcome back to Confident Notions. Whew. It's early. I guess not that early. It's like 8.30 now and I already just got a, a sales call. Like not for me, but um, like in other companies, SDR was doing some outreach. Bless his heart. Like I used to manage those folks and he was so nervous. I'm totally the wrong person for him. But anyways, I already started off this morning with a, with a sales call at like 8.30. That boy was on top of it for him anywho i digress <laughs> so i have a dollar tree haul for you today and i found some really cool stuff at dollar tree per usual and i would say this is more of like as you saw by the thumbnail more of like a beachy type summery type kind of theme so we're just gonna roll with with that for now okay so let's hop right into this first things first i found I can't even fit it in the screen. These enormous skewers, do you see these? These are bamboo, bamboo, bamboo skewers. Um, and they're long, I think, what is this, like three feet? They're like at least three feet, maybe a yard long, maybe 36 inches, they're way long. And they're pointy at the ends and you get 12 of these for a dollar. I actually picked up two of these and we've already used one of them because when my husband grills, we have marshmallows. My daughter wants to, you know, get some marshmallows and she doesn't like to get too close. Well, A, she doesn't like to, but B, I don't want her too close to the grill. So these are sufficiently safe enough to keep her out of harm's way when grilling. Um, I guess you could also have like the longest kebab ever with these. You could stick these in the ground and put something on them, I guess. I guess it really like the options are endless here, but I bought them for marshmallows. But I was like, for a dollar? Absolutely. I was looking for the smaller version of these and then I saw these giant ones. So, I mean, how could I say no to that? Um, then I also found these two adorable kids bucket hats, as you saw in the thumbnail, I had this one on, which is adorable. Oh my gosh. I love the whales. I'm on such like a whale kick this like summer season. I don't know why. It's probably cause like I, like I would be on an octopus kick like 130% of the time, but whales are popular this year, which I'm totally down with cause I feel they all kind of go. Let me lift up my octopus over here. There we go. That's dangerous, but there you go. So totally goes with it. Uh, so this is the kids version and I got two because they were adorable. So I got her this pink one with flowers and the whale one because I was not gonna pass that up. Now in my last video, I also hauled, which happens to be right here for me, but they have adult version too in the bees and they had other things too, but I didn't realize that they had like adults and kids. So yes, they have adult and kid bucket hats for a dollar. Crazy, crazy. But a dollar is about what I would spend on a hat for myself because I don't like hats. So, but you know, if I need one, I got one. All right. Then I found these. Have you seen these? They've been making their way through the Dollar Tree and I think these are hysterical. So they're inflatable beverage holders and we have an inflatable shark beverage holder and a hunk drink holder. Inflatable hunk, this is adorable. So if you look at on the back, it says, keep your drink cool while you party in the pool. The shark will inflate in seconds to take a bite out of your cocktail. And this one says, keep your drink cool while you party in the pool. This handsome hunk inflates in seconds to create a sturdy base for your cocktail. Don't be a, oh, this is not a toy and should not be used as a life-saving device. So if there's any confusion, please do not use this man as a life-saving device. Oh, this is spectacular. Look, he's even got abs. Look at that. I love it. Oh, that's spectacular. I wouldn't even use this in a pool. We're just going to put it out. Everybody, instead of having coasters, you're just going to get like an inflatable drink man instead. That's that's a ticket. Uh, this is also some kind of fun stuff. I don't know. It depends on what you consider to be fun. But I think I'm getting a little boring here. So if you think this is fun, maybe it's fun. Maybe it's not fun. I don't know. 
I found something that got me really excited at the Dollar Tree, like really, really excited, which really just speaks to kind of like, I must be getting old and things that aren't really exciting are, but look at these, y'all, look, I, t I bought three because I couldn't. It is a notes organizer. It is an 80 sheet notes organizer. It is six by eight and a half inches. And it says IQ Layout by Scholar New York. Now, this is a Greenbrier product imported. It says Canada on here. I don't know why, like I think, I need to check like some of the other things, but you know, there's like some Greenbrier stuff that's like Canada Green, like Canada Dollar Tree. And then there's some like Greenbrier stuff that's like US Dollar Tree. And I think they're different. And like you get totally different stuff. Anyways, look at this. My retentive self is so excited by this. I already do this every single day. I make a list every single day. I put the date on top of my notebook and then I list all the tasks that I need to do. And then it also has like notes over here and then notes on the bottom. And I thought, oh my gosh, this is spectacular. I do this, like, like I said, literally I do this every single day. Um, so yeah, I, this is fa fabulous. 80 pages. I grabbed three of them because I definitely are gonna see myself using them. I, ah. Yeah. Things that are exciting for, for Laura, but maybe not exciting for everyone else, and that's okay, too. But yes, notebooks, notebooks, y'all, notebooks. Okay, just try to like jazz it up a little bit there. Maybe not. Boring stuff, I picked up two, um, Makeup blender sponges that I just get a hair in my mouth. <sighs> Maybe. I picked up two blender sponges. These work okay. Actually, I haven't been liking how they've been working with my foundation. So I went and bought a foundation brush the other day at Ulta. Um, but these work, they, they work well. They're not terrible. Um, some of the other like beauty, like faux beauty blender sponges that they sell at Dollar Tree, like the ones they had at Easter time, not so good. These ones are decent. They'll work. They'll, they'll do it for you if you need it. If you need it done, it'll do it for you. All right. Uh, hold on. Let me reach over here. Also, to keep up with the last of the outdoors theme, they I picked up these three sand castle components. So you, there is a piece here that you can make the wall with the turrets. And then you have other like just turrets. And then you have like, I guess the center of your castle. But I thought that was really neat. So you obviously they're sold separately. So it's not like a three pack, but I mean, for a dollar, for $3 total, and you get all of these like sand components, I thought that was a fine deal and will keep a child occupied. Here's the thing, like for kids stuff like that, if it lasts the summer, you're good. I'm gonna show you a couple boring things too. Boring stuff, soap. We got some Dawn. I got a Dawn Botanicals and also a uh, bah, 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 Dawn Ultra. I think I y'all know, like this stuff is great for cutting grease. Also, if you have like stains on your shirt, like grease stains or something, and people call them watermarks. I'm like, I ain't a watermark, that is a grease stain. It just looks like water, but it's not. Um, this is great for getting that out. If I recall correctly, I bought these when I was running out of soap and then we went to Costco the other day and I bought a giant thing of it. But anyways, like, just soap and gonna go bad. It's fine. Also boring, but I'll tell you, I'm a huge fan of these. These are the Good Sense Thai, uh, flap Thai tall kitchen bags. They are lemon scented and they are fantastic for my office trash, which is right over here. Cause I'm in here most of the day. I eat my breakfast, snack and lunch in here. Um, and so these are great for, they're just great trash bags. I keep them in the hall closet over there. There's three, I think I mentioned this before, but there's three garbage cans. So there's two bathrooms up here and then my office. So it's really nice just to have like dollar trash bags handy. You don't have to go all the way downstairs like where the rest of the trash bags are. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. Now this here. I don't know if you think it's exciting or not, but this was new to me. So they have these treat packs and these are, this Kellogg, who is this? Keebler, Keebler treat packs. And you get two of the fruit stripes and two of the fruit snacks. And I thought that was a fine deal for a dollar. And yeah, they sell all of these separately and 
actually it might not be a deal i'm not certain i've never priced these before but i know that this is exactly how much i would want to buy for my child like i don't want to buy a whole pack of fruit stripes cookies in a bag and i'm not certain how she's gonna feel about these fruit snacks well fruit snacks are the best like don't even tell you otherwise like those are the best fruit snacks And, ooh, I also picked up these, I love these, the, um, what the heck are these called? The peanut butter bar. They're not peanut butter bar. Oh, these crunchy, like, peanut butter candies. These are so good. They are delicious. And, yes, I am on Jenny Craig. And, yes, I don't need to be eating these. And, but, you know, sometimes, you never know. Sometimes you just need a little something extra. So I grabbed a pack of those to put in my drawer. And then it'll pick me up. Them. Oh, this was a wish list item. I saw these. These are the Crayola Jelly Bath Bombs. And put it in warm water. Oh, and then turn the water surface into a jelly texture. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, hold on. Ew, allow to dissolve before entering tub. Rinse skin and bathtub thoroughly with warm soapy water to remove colorants and jelly residue after bathing. Hold up, so this is why they're at the Dollar Tree. Because you put this in your bath and then you gotta take a, you gotta take a separate bath after you come out of the tub because you got jelly all over you. Seems like a terrible idea. I just looked at them like, oh look, it's like three bath bombs and it's name brand, that's super cool. But no, this is a pain in the ass think twice about those right. last and certainly not least they have new face masks at the Dollar Tree and I know there are certain parts of the country that like mask that they've like lifted part of the mask mandates let me tell you something i am be wearing this for a while I don't trust nobody I don't trust anybody um get yeah, their COVID all over the place um I get my second vaccine next week but still I don't trust nobody we're gonna wear a mask until until something else changes. So I found these two adult ones, which are super cool. So this is Be Safe Cotton Face Covering, and it comes with three filters, right? Yes, includes three filters. So this is like the, um, look at that. It's got the extra filter packet inside here. And then um, there's a space here where you could add a filter. So that's lovely. Look at that. Uh, so I got the one in the leopard print and I also got one in the black and white houndstooth. And I saw this one that my child is probably not gonna wear because even the kids size ones are too big on her face, but it has narwhals on it and I couldn't resist. So look at that. So that's all. It's kind of a boring, not that exciting haul for me today. But you know, you never know. Maybe you like this kind of stuff and that's awesome. Anywho, I hope you're all doing well. I hope you are staying safe. I hope you have a great rest of your day. If you like this, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see y'all soon.